So, as we wrap up the year, guess what? Over 250,000 new mobile games hit the Play Store and App Store. Crazy, right? Now, most of them are total duds, but there are some real gems in the mix. And hey, we're not here to chat about the usual top charts. Most of those games are either ancient or just plain meh. My crew and I have been digging into the mobile gaming scene for a solid decade. So here's the scoop, our list of the top 10 mobile games of 2023. Let's dive in. The first game on our list is Arena Breakout. This game came as a pleasant surprise. First, because at the beginning of this year, it was not predicted by many to come out this year. But second, and more importantly, Tencent overshot our expectations for what was even possible in a mobile game. For those who don't know, Arena Breakout is an FPS by Tencent that plunges you into a new world full of enemies and armed conflict. Loaded with courage and an extensive weapons arsenal, this FPS for Android lets you fine-tune your aiming skills during every mission. The 3D graphics are really impressive and realistic. Using a fantastic visual motor, it is very easy to move the camera however you want to try and find all the items and enemies dotted around the map. All these things let you advance through the different scenes with the sole goal of surviving enemy crossfire. Breaking into number 9, we have Farlight 84. For those who like fast-paced hero battle royale games, Farlight 84 is the place to be. There doesn't seem to be any explicit content issues with the game itself, but the safety for kids may rely on their own tastes and their parents' comfort level with battle royale games. Many aspects make Farlight 84 unique, but undoubtedly one of the most inventive is the jetpack all characters have equipped. Thanks to this item, you can propel yourself at high speed across the map. The jetpack doesn't let you stay in the air for a long time, but it allows you to propel yourself long distances to jump between buildings and dodge enemy attacks. However, you will have to learn how and when to use it correctly, as it does have a few seconds of cooldown between thrusts. And if you're not careful, those seconds might just be your undoing. Coming in at number 8, we have Resident Evil Village. When I first started playing the game's intro, I was impressed. I showed my wife and she was also blown away by a game like this running on a phone. Games on mobile devices have looked really good for a few years now, but Village is on a whole other level. It features incredible details with high-resolution textures, realistic character modes, and gorgeous lighting. Another thing to keep in mind, you need a controller to play Village on the iPhone 15 Pro. I mean, technically you can play this horror sequel with touchscreen controls, but it's almost unplayable like that, with all the buttons of an Xbox controller covering up the already crowded screen with not only more icons but your pudgy fingers. And even if you don't mind covering up the action with your fingers, actually fighting enemies with touchscreen controls is a nightmare. Next up at number 7, we have Disney Speedstorm. Disney Speedstorm is a highly anticipated mobile racing game featuring beloved Disney characters. This game has generated considerable excitement among fans of the Pixar series. Gameloft's involvement has further heightened this anticipation, as their valuable input ensures the game stays true to the franchise while delivering an exhilarating experience. A cast of characters including Sully, Beast, Mickey Mouse, Mulan, Baloo, Captain Jack Sparrow, and more are suited and revving up for racing combat. Upgrade each racer's stats and make the most of skills that can impact the outcome of a single race and change the way you play the game. Anyone can pick up and play this game, but mastering skills and techniques, like timing your nitro boosts. Down to number 6, we have Undawn. One of the most anticipated post-apocalypse survival RPG games brought to you by Lightspeed Studios and Level Infinite offers a unique post-apocalyptic gaming experience in the mobile gaming market. The game uses many features from other post-apocalyptic games out there and combines them to deliver a different experience. Talking about the gameplay, Undawn does a great job of diversifying the key elements of the game. Not taking names, but other post-apocalyptic games present in the market do not offer such a diversified experience. As you go and explore the storyline, you will explore how the community works and will be provided an opportunity to build a house for yourselves. The housing feature will allow you to express your creativity and design your own houses from scratch. Moving on to number 5, we have Hitman Blood Money, everyone's favorite cold-blooded killing machine. If you grew up gaming in the noughties, there's no way you could have avoided that beautiful bald head and his habit of contract murder. 
Now he's back once again thanks to Hitman Blood Money. Reprisal, a mobile remaster of one of the saga's most celebrated outings courtesy of Feral Interactive. The game is much as you'd expect. You get a contract, load into a location, and go around sneakily seeing off guards, henchmen, and the main target. Or targets, in some cases. For those who don't know, Blood Money's narrative is an elaborate tale of bloodshed, clones, feuding contract killer agencies, and, well, more bloodshed. It's a stone-cold classic featuring some of the best individual levels from the whole series, with a personal favorite of mine in Curtains Down, a night at the opera you'll never forget. Next up at number 4 we have Project Bloodstrike. This game was released early this year. This game is a battle royale type of game that lets you play in a huge map structure with different graphics and new tactical weapons. It is interesting to say, Project Bloodstrike is the same as PUBG or COD M branding games, which provide their fans BR and MP as well. This year was the emergence of new, top, and optimized immersive and FPS games. Like any other top BR game, it has its own unique map that you drop down from your flight and start your fight with a pistol. Project Bloodstrike does not offer a special story unique to its gameplay. Instead, it is inspired by other franchises and immersive games that incorporate elements from various maps and game modes, which is BR. Coming in at number 3, we have Lost in Play. This is a captivating point-and-click puzzle adventure game that sets you on a thrilling journey with magical encounters. The game is captivating and diverse, immersing players in a magical adventure filled with mysteries to unravel. From the outset, you enter a diverse world with unique creatures and puzzles to solve. Throughout the journey, you create clues, devise strategies, and unlock stages, all while interacting with mystical creatures. The game offers challenging puzzles and enjoyable minigames typical of the genre. You have the unique opportunity to take on the roles of both Toto and Gal, the lovable and mischievous siblings at the heart of the adventure. Each character brings their own distinct personality and strengths to the game, offering a diverse and dynamic gameplay experience. Next up at number 2 we have Ace Racer. Ace Racer is a new mobile racing game developed by NetEase and published via Exceptional Global. The game tests the player's driving skills up to the ultimate level with its unique sets of time challenges and races scattered all around the map in different stages of terrain. The factor that really makes Ace Racer an ace in the racing genre is the unpredictability of the races. The races are so non-linear that it becomes next to impossible to predict what to expect in the upcoming parts of the races. There are different challenges, sets of barricades, and elements of racetracks that increase the difficulty of each race. Here in this Ace Racer review, we will review what the game has to offer. The game offers a fully licensed iconic collection of real-time cars available for players to choose from as part of their ride in the game. And finally, the top spot on our list goes to Hankai Star Rail. This game doing well was not as surprising since it was announced early on, but it is still exceeding expectations. Hong Kong Star is the fourth installment in the series, bringing new and alternative versions of existing characters from Honkai Impact 3rd. It has a stylish and engaging turn-based RPG element that marries a quirky sci-fi tale with anime-style graphics. A great role-playing game with turn-based combat is free and fun. This is one of the most generous in the genre I've played, and I have played way too many. And attempts are made to encourage you to spend responsibly. The long and short of it is that many may still feel compelled to spend more than they should. So with all this in mind, we had to put this game at the top of this year's list. And that's it for today. Which of this year's entries do you consider the true GOAT? Or what you're looking forward to? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Android Tools.